is the Mac, is the tax rate on individual and corporate income realistic? I mean, uh, I used to live in Massachusetts, and uh, the state last year enacted a millionaire's tax, uh, at minimum tax on incomes over, I don't recall now exactly what it was, because their analysis showed that people paying income tax in Massachusetts, due to all the deductions and so forth that the wealthier people could take, whatever the stated rate was, the actual rate they were paying was substantially lower and contributing to the state's deficit. Is that, would that hold true for the federal government as well? And how would that impact your analysis? Yeah. Nobody's paying 37% of their income in taxes, is the answer. Um, in, in income taxes, right? That's the top rate. Nobody's paying 37% of their income in income taxes because 37 is your top rate, but you're paying some money at the lower rates. You're deducting, if you're wealthy enough to make to be in the 37% rate, you're deducting $10,000 of state and local taxes, you're deducting your mortgage interest, you're deducting your charitable giving, um, you probably have tax-free bonds, you have a bunch of money in capital gains that's paying a lower rate, that can be 23.8. Uh, you um, maybe are a pass-through business owner of some kind, and so you're getting a 20% deduction, and you're taking losses, most of which are actual losses, but some of which maybe are you're fudging a little bit because your company car you're also using for individual purposes. Uh, your health care isn't subject to tax. The bottom line is nobody's paying the top rate. There's a, we have a, um, I wouldn't say a narrow base, but we've kind of a Swiss cheese tax base, right? Um, where there are um, a lot of ways to reduce your rate relative to the taxable rate. That's all included in this analysis. And the other piece of it um, is a lot of people aren't paying all the taxes that they owe. In fact, I'll get to that in a few, in, in a few charts. But, um, what that suggests is there's actually a lot more room to raise revenue without having to kind of, first of all, without raising taxes, just by collecting the taxes that are owed. But secondly, without having to raise rates or without having to even explicitly cut tax breaks that are intended under the law because, they're, because you can start by kind of going after the compliance and the workarounds and the loopholes, and then you go to the tax breaks, then you look at the rates. It's one way to think about it. But uh, we have a very broad base that leaves a lot of opportunity to have, avoid taxation, some of it by intent, some of it um, sort of just has just happened over time. 